Let's talk a little bit about a really simple trick that can help you speed up your weight loss goals. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffro. It's me, Matt here, and today I want to talk a little bit about weight loss. More specifically, I want to talk about a part of weight loss that a lot of people don't think about, and that is what you drink. You see, when we go to lose weight, we often focus on exercise and what we're eating, but a lot of us actually forget the amount of calories that come from what we're drinking. In fact, I'm going to be completely honest here. Back around uh, just under a year ago when I was overweight and I was just about to start actually dieting and trying to lose weight, I actually didn't realize where a lot of that weight had come from. You see, I knew I was eating a lot, but I wasn't actually eating that you know, that much in terms of calories. I was eating, you know, in a caloric surplus, so I would have been putting on weight. But I was putting on weight so fast and I didn't realize just how big the surplus I was in, what really was. And the actual root of that was one simple thing, and that was what I was drinking. You see, I didn't actually have any clue about this. I'm gonna be completely honest here and say I had no clue that there were so many calories in drinks. I got the idea that, yeah, what you're drinking has a few calories, but I thought, you know, you drink, your coke for the day or whatever and you have 50 calories maybe. What I didn't realize was that I was consuming around 860 calories a day just from cola. So I was drinking you know two liters of coke a day because I'm someone who wasn't drinking water at the time uh, at all really and now I drink water but I still don't drink water you know all day. I do drink soda, I do drink juices and stuff like that, and at the time I was drinking just soda. I was drinking, you know, Coca-Cola or whichever, you know, knockoff cheap alternative version of it I was getting at the time, or Pepsi or whatever, and I was drinking around 2 litres a day, and 2 litres is 860 calories. That's more calories than your average dinner has. Think about that, you're getting an extra dinner just from what you're drinking all day. Now, uh, compare that to, say, water, Water has basically no calories. There is nothing that you're actually giving your body energy with. Uh, and so you can drink two liters of water a day and you will be consuming 860 less calories than if you're drinking two liters of Coke a day. Now this might be setting off a light bulb in a lot of your minds because if you're overweight and you're actually drinking soda right now, then that is an extra meal a day that you are essentially getting. Um, if you're underweight and trying to put on weight, then this can be a great way to, you know, put in some extra calories. If you're someone who struggles to eat, then you know perhaps drink juices or switch from your diet drinks to regular sodas and stuff like that. Um, obviously, it's not the best for you health-wise, but it's a way to put on weight. But if, on the other hand, you are trying to lose weight, then it's something that you should consider cutting out of your diet because it's a lot easier to cut out drinking, say, uh, Coke than it is to actually cut out a meal from the day. So you see, that's the thing is, uh, say, switching Coke for water won't actually affect how hungry you are throughout the day. You're not suddenly going to become more hungry and feel like you're missing out on a meal. Because you're consuming the Coke as a liquid form and in small amounts throughout the day, you don't really notice the actual difference when you remove it from your diet. But what you will find is that you're 860 calories lighter and that can be enough to put you from a caloric surplus, in other words gaining weight, to actually a caloric deficit, in other words losing weight. So it might be all that you need to do to change about your diet to actually start losing weight is just to cut out the cola. And if you like cola like me, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest here, I'm probably a long way from converting to totally just drinking water and nothing else because I do enjoy my drinks to have more taste to them than water. Although I will say that, you know, if you can switch to drinking just water, then then do it. But if you can't, if you're like me and you actually like to drink your soda and stuff like that, then consider at least switching to diet. Now, you know, any soda is not the greatest for you health-wise and diet soda and stuff. People have uh, been raving about stuff like aspartame and artificial sweeteners in there. But the thing is, it's at least a better option for you if you're dieting than if you're drinking the real normal soda. So if you are drinking soda and you don't want to quit drinking soda but you want to lose weight, then switch from regular soda from your, you know, your Coca-Cola or whatever to the diet version. The diet version is essentially calorie neutral. Uh, aspartame and, and other artificial sweeteners aren't actually broken down by your body. They're there, they give the taste to it, but they're not broken down and so they don't actually give you any energy. And so it is essentially like you're drinking flavoured water in a sense. And so it's mostly, you know, you're going to get maybe three or four calories from a day of drinking it. 
And so try that if you're drinking, even if you're drinking juice for example, uh, say you're not drinking soda but you're drinking juice, then actually go and take the carton out of the fridge right now, after this video is finished, go and get the carton out of the fridge and have a look on the back what, what the calories per 100 mil is. And then work out how much you actually drink a day and work out how many calories that is. You see, even 200 calories can be the difference between you staying the same weight and gaining weight or staying the same weight and losing weight. So even if you're only drinking, say, a couple of glasses of juice or of coffee or of soda or whatever each day, these are things that actually add up. You see, the other area where this is important is alcohol. A lot of people don't realise just how many calories alcohol has. For example, a beer can be anywhere from 150 to 300 calories for a single beer. Uh, most of them are in the, you know, 160 to 220 range, but that's one beer. So if you are someone that enjoys quite a few because you have a bit of a tolerance for alcohol and you say go through 10 beers in a night, then that's 1,500 calories at the minimum. And that's like two big meals. So if you do that once a week, that's like uh, once a week where you're getting almost half a day's worth of extra food. Or in fact, potentially close to a day's worth if you're someone who has a small uh, energy need each day. And that is going to add up in the long run and cause you to put on more and more weight or slow down your weight loss goals if you're losing weight. So think about that. Um, you can, you know, choose which type of alcohol you consume. For example, you know, beer is going to be the most calories. Um, stuff like vodka and, you know, just spirits in general are going to be less calories. But, you know, in general, it is a lot of calories. So if you are drinking, save it for once a week and account for it. In other words, eat less food that day, you know, or uh, eat less total food each week. So if, say, for example, you want to be eating 2,500 calories each day all week round. And what you could do is, for example, eat, say, uh, a couple hundred calories less uh, throughout most days of the week. And then on one day you have your drinks and, you know, the calories from that match up to the calories that you've lost on the other days. And so it matches up and it hasn't taken a hit on your diet. So if you are drinking anything, whether it's alcohol, whether it's soda, whether it's coffee and tea, look at the calories that it's actually causing you to gain and think about that in the context of your diet. If you are actually going to make room for it in your diet then make sure you're making room for it by actually taking out calories elsewhere. But if you are trying to lose weight then consider cutting these things out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have remember to subscribe up there because you've got regular videos that come out multiple times a week. If you like the video leave a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you do want to keep watching then check out the video that's linked on screen. Take care guys.